What's up guys, we got an off day here in Cleveland, Ohio. What better way than spin it at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Let's go. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Rock Hall opened right here on the shores of Lake Erie in 1995. Notorious B.I.G. We actually have a really funny story. Basically two of our preparators could stand in one leg. This entire mannequin is wrapped in like bubble wrap and packing material. It's like a bullpen jacket. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, the Jay-Z jersey. Probably one of the cooler things that I saw in the exhibit. Just how fashion has changed. I need this jersey. I don't know where I'm going to get it, but I don't want this. That's nice. One of these Fridays, I'm going to rock that. I'm going to find it first, though. I think it's absurd, some of the, like, the fashion. You'll go from, like, that to Mr. Rogers. Sequence jackets to a cardigan. You're like, how do you guys all play music? Another really incredible artifact we have is Jerry Lee Lewis's piano. And if you get up close, you can actually see that the ivory is worn off the top of the key. It's just insane to think about playing something so much that you completely wear out. Can you imagine like a baseball bat being worn in like <laughs> Baseball bats, yeah, like a lifespan of a week. My parents love Def Leppard. That's probably who I listened to the most as a kid. I feel like I had like a very wide array of things that I listened to like over the course of like my childhood. Dude, the concert posters are gnarly. Like Otis Redding, $3. It'd be nice if they still did stuff like that. Yeah, like they like all the cool like the cool parts of like music used to be like you'd see like <laughs> sick posters and sick things like that. Like the art the art that went with it. And a city that hopefully you all hold very close to your heart. We have the Seattle case immediately behind you. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, all of the classic Seattle rock and roll scene. I feel like it'd shred my arm. It's like wearing a, like a suit chain of armor mail. or chainmail, yeah. Oh. I couldn't imagine trying to move in something like that. Why, why are you bleeding? Well I got stabbed by my dress. Uh, my dress is Violent. Shoes are kind of hard. You can go crazy with the shoes. I can get down with those. I love, I love Green Dead. I walk the lonely road. Is, yeah. that the, yeah. is that them? Yeah. You're the Mellencamp fan? My dad was a big John Cougar Mellencamp guy. <laughs> this is really cool. Heard So Good is one of my favorites. Jack and Diane's classic. I like Cherry Bomb too. Pink Houses. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of songs of his I like. That fit Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> yeah, it's like, a ch it's like a child's jacket. There's no chance that fit Bruce Springsteen. Look at that. That's just half my arm. Was Bruce Springsteen like really tiny? He's 5'10". I was gonna say, that, that's not gonna fit a 5'10 guy. No. Yeah, it shrunk. It's like... Being a fat guy. Yeah, well, the jacket got old fast. Dude, even concert tickets were sick. Oh, yeah, All the cool stuff that is nostalgic that people can collect. It's a cheap paper ticket or it's a digital ticket and you're like, you can't save that. It's pretty disappointing because there's so much cool artwork that came with the music. The Rolling Stones has some, has some swag to them. They literally got a magazine named after them. Like, <laughs> the Rolling Stones. So this is our Cleveland Rocks Gallery and our Music of the Midwest. So Black Keys, Devo. Did you say Devo? Yeah. Like, like Whip It? Devo with the hat? Yeah. yeah. We used it. <laughs> 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 I'm definitely glad I, I came to this. Yeah. Like, it's like personal, like lyrics written. I think that's really cool. The coolest part for sure is like the handwritten lyrics that you have. Oh, you kind of learn a little bit about them by the way they write and stuff. Like, they're, 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 like kind of white stripes. Yeah, I, I walked out to them in uh, college. Seven Nation Army? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone ready to play some instruments? I have negative musical ability. Actually, negative musical ability. I tried to learn how to play Hey Ya, and that was like when I was 12, and that was it. Pick it up, play it. No, I don't know how to play the guitar. I'll teach you. Wait, how do you even hold it? I think he can do it. Like, I've, I've literally never played. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm rooting, being a great teammate. That already went over my head. He skipped instructions. He did it. You're like, how are you going to yeah, figure no, it out? No, you skipped no, instructions. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> karaoke with the band? Please, please sing. I won karaoke my, my uh, rookie year. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. This is what she was talking about? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Totally misunderstood that. Somebody can do it. I, I can do that. I yeah. Somebody do it with me. Somebody come up here with me. I'm not singing. So I just add some of that in there. Yeah, just add some of that. All right. You have the I think we're doing Smells Like Teen Spirit, yeah? <laughs> How am I supposed to add this in there? Thorny performing was my favorite part. Yeah. Got to give him his props, put him on the stage, and go to work like he did. Tough. I gave it everything I got. Basically, I just had a tambourine and shook till my forearm seized up, and it was fun though. That was, that was a cool experience.
Thank you guys, that was awesome. Woo. I think I'm a little deaf right now. There's some ringing in my ear. I thought it was going to be like, like a 15 second thing. I was like, oh. What's up guys, just finished out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. Go M's.